Akatir and Sabine Nabarda. Where did these guys come from? And security, make sure that nobody comes out here tonight to ruin any matches. This is a very important night. Talk about a way to kick things off here at Supercard 13. King Matrix, or King Matrix, excuse me, and Stonewall were fighting each other. I thought for a second it was all over for Stonewall, but instead, Stonewall's debut ended up being a huge tag team match featuring members of the Black Wrestling League, Sabina Barda and the leader, Blacketeer. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the voice and the host with the most of fantasy pro wrestling, Johnny Alaganoush. And we have in store for you a tremendous lineup. Stars galore, including, ladies and gentlemen, WWE's Triple H, the COO of the World Wrestling Entertainment, is here tonight to battle Robert English in a no holds barred match, but also, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, We've got the obstacle match, the first time ever an obstacle match where two superstars will compete in three matches for one belt. It's going to be awesome, ladies and gentlemen, and right now I am not going to talk anymore. Right now we have a four corners match coming up right now, standing by right now with Rick Rocker is Pumpkin Escobar, who is amongst one of the participants in the Four Corners match. Rick, the floor is yours. The following Fatal 4-Way contest is scheduled for what fall? Introducing first from Washington, D.C. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this man right here, Bill Buzz Chase. About two short months ago at the Homecoming Slamtacular, he defeated Sergio Menendez. Lastly, eliminating Sergio Menendez, I should say, in that three way dance featuring Denny Dorito. This man got to the, to, to the main event to compete against Adele Hasib and defeated her, becoming uh, this year's graduate student. And now at this point, Whoa. at this point, Bill Buzz Chase is now involved in another multiple man match. The course of this match is to see who deserves, who truly deserves a shot for the Universal Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, this show has been brought to you by Big Hero 6. Now in theaters everywhere. And from Mexico, weighing 165 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, she is Sergio Menendez. He fights with style, with class. He's a high flyer and he's got a very unique finisher called the Flying Armbar. Will we see it tonight? We will only hope. He's got three superstars to compete against and already Buzz is amongst them. Buzz really wants to beat Sergio Menendez for a second time. But look who we have here. Part of the cruiserweight division next to Sergio Menendez is former Universal Champion and one of the greatest cruiserweight talents in FPW, Danny Cans. This shall be very interesting, ladies and gentlemen, to see what could possibly transpire here. We also got Pumpkin Escobar, who's just about to make his way down the ring right now. I believe there he is right now. 
another superstar who's trying to compete for the Universal Championship. From Los Angeles, California, weighing 205 pounds, Pumpkin Escobar. My goodness, we haven't seen this individual in quite some time. In fact, at Beach Blast back in July. He got himself so humiliated, I thought that Blacketeer was going to get rid of this man. But Pumpkin Escobar is looking good. He looks pretty confident, especially during that interview with Rick Rocker. Whoa! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, four-quarter match next. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, four-corner match. One fall to a finish. Two men who are striving for the Cruiserweight Championship title. That's Danny Cans and Sergio Menendez. And two superstars who are striving for the Universal Championship. Pumpkin Escobar and that man right there who just body slammed Danny Cans, Bill Buzz Chase. So far, ladies and gentlemen, I am not disappointed at all at the actions that have happened moments ago with the Black Wrestling League, Stonewall, and King Matrix. That was absolutely unbelievable. Never have I ever expected such turn of events. But to make things much more clear, ladies and gentlemen, Blacketeer had his hands full with Stonewall just a few short days ago, as a matter of fact, in a four-corner, one-half tag team match, where in the end, it was Junior pinning Tony Towers, Lieutenant Colonel Tony Towers, I should say. So now Paul London and Junior have advanced on in the tag team contingency. Blacketeer must have been very upset about the circumstances and now wanted to lay it all on the line here on a pay-per-view basis. Supercard's very first pay-per-view, Supercard 13. As you know, or may not know, we've had 12 Supercard mini-shows. Just little shows here and there, like we used to for Tuesday Night Bomb or No Mercy Hardcore Wrestling. But now, here ladies and gentlemen, you are watching FPW Supercard 13, the very first Supercard pay-per-view with Alianda. Sergio Menendez looking pretty confident in himself. Will we see the flying on bar? He's setting up Buzz for it. Wait a second. Oh, wait a minute. Powerbomb to a Hurricane Rana. Very nicely done there by Pumpkin at School Bar. And there's a belly to belly suplex. I guess we're not going to see the flying on bar so early in this match. Looking forward to a great night of professional wrestling film here on the t at the THQ Arena. Friday, November the 14th. As I said, Triple H, the COO of the WWE, is here tonight. Oh, wait a second. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful double team in June 2. And that could have been all over there for Buzz, allowing Sergio Menendez to pick up the W. Robert English is in the back. I'm sure that he is very pumped up for this no holes barred match. We'll have more talks about that, ladies and gentlemen, as the night proceeds. Same thing with the obstacle match between Lawless and Vicious Jeremy. 